Hey everyone, it's Rachel Lust and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little DIY video for you and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful, really simple concrete and test tube vase. I love it because it's such a statement piece, it looks good at night, it looks good in the day and I really just love having one flower separated, I think it's really pretty. So if you want to see how to make this vase, just keep on watching. I would recommend laying some plastic sheeting down on whatever surface you're going to be working on. Next we are going to take the oversized test tubes. These ones are just from Ikea. You can find them all around the place though. A container for mixing in. I made Bo eat a thing of Ben and Jerry's because I wanted the container because it has the wax coating on the inside. That's our mold and then a scoop. Some easy mix concrete, the kind that you just have to add water to. And some water. I would also recommend getting a spoon to mix things with and some little rocks. I'll show you what they're for very shortly. Now I'm just following the instructions on my concrete packet and I'm going to make my mix now. So I'm pouring in the concrete and then the amount of water that I need. I did end up adding a tiny bit more water because as you can see it's still quite dry there so I added a little bit more in. You just want to make sure there's no dry bits hanging around but at the same time you don't want it looking like a slushy. You want it sort of in between. So we're just going to mix that all the way through. I'm going to start scooping this out into the Ben & Jerry's container. I'm going to fill it to about two centimeters from the top. So a really good container to have is one that has that waxy film on the inside because it's going to make it easier to take off afterwards. Now you can see here that I'm just tapping the container, like dropping it a little bit. That's to get out any excess air bubbles. So do that for a little bit and then you're going to insert your oversized test tube. Now, when you're popping this one in, I like to push it all the way through the center. You'll know when you've hit the bottom, you've gone too far, so bring it back up just a little bit so some concrete can get under there. Now, I would recommend using some small stones or something like that just to act as a weight to hold the test tube in place. And we're gonna leave it for three days before we unwrap it. An optional step that you can take as well is using some sort of gloss acrylic to cover the concrete if you want it to be shiny. I wanted mine matte, so I just left it as it was. There you go, you can put some water in it, put some plants in it, and set it out on your shelf. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do want to make one, and if you'd like me to make a tutorial on this concrete lamp here, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!